there are people who have wasted time on mundane things wasted time pursuing things that have no purpose no eternal value are we together and at the end of their lives they would look back in regret and say i wish i had time i wish i had time i wish i had time to do this i wish i had time to do that when god wants to help men he grants them wisdom to understand time now please look up this issue of chronos and kairos let me say a word or two about it in every man's life watch this now chronos which is the passage of time remains with us for as long as we are alive but kairos this opportune time does not come all the time i want you to please listen let me explain how do i okay let me explain chronos and kairos for you please look up imagine with me a student who is in school right um that student is expected to read and prepare because there would be exams all the time is that true but for a student say in secondary school there's something called junior wayek and there's something called the senior wayek now all exams are important but those two exams can define the next seasons of that person is that true now those periods are called kairos moments so every time the student is expected to be serious every time the student is expected to read and give his or her best but when you see students who are preparing say for jam you see the kinds of skills that they employ because they understand that this is a defining moment if i miss this i may have to wait one year again are we together and so you see people waking up in the night are we together you see all kinds of chain readings people begin to deploy all kinds of creativity to make sure they maximize that moment and a wise person will not say you are working too hard because they know that this is a kairos moment so even when you see them stretching themselves beyond um the the usual way they would read you only encourage them you don't stop them because you know that if they miss out on that opportunity another example imagine with me a student who is writing his final exam say in law school you see that student has done everything and i mean the student is mandated to read and give the best but for that final exam if it means there are people who fast while they are reading pray while they are reading play worship while they are reading soak their legs in water while they are reading any skill by all means everything that becomes an advantage to maximize that moment because there are there are moments that when you miss that is the end of it are we together so we have the gift and the advantage of chronos the passage of time every day but the bible teaches us that in every man's life there are not many of these seasons but they are there and that they, you have to discern the technology of their arrival you need to learn how this how to know that you are in these seasons because the, for a man sometimes in an entire lifetime you may not have more than six of these seasons and for some of us we've already lost two or three so it will take the grace of god to catch up Pay attention please hallelujah that in a man's lifetime you will not have these defining moments come all the time for instance a man who wants to become a professional footballer at age 60 you see his zeal is correct his vision is correct but he missed a kairos moment and that there are no biases to that kairos moment there is no club sites that will take him no matter the skill the system that has been built around that field forbids that you will be part of it professionally at that age are we together is someone learning now that means it is not enough to have vision you must understand the timing component to life i must walk the works of him that sent me 
Hallelujah. When the disciples saw Jesus, they discerned a sense of strange urgency. And the disciples wondered why Jesus seemed to be up and about. I mean, you are the king of kings, having all power. You claim you are the son of God coming from heaven. What is the rush about? To the extent that you will forget to eat. After a crusade, you will think he should be resting. Then you see him with a woman at the well and with the same zeal and passion. Then he says, gentlemen, I know you are tired. Let's go to the other side. We'll sleep in the boat while we are going. He himself was sleeping, meaning he was tired. We are not the first to start this busy schedule. Jesus himself. <laughs> you see the scriptural backing for what we do. Hallelujah. And Jesus got to a point where he let them know that he had to do this because there was urgency connected to it. Paul, the apostle, when Paul encountered the Lord Jesus Christ, the level and the extent of urgency that was in Paul, to the extent that if they locked him up in prison, he didn't have time sympathizing with his situation. He said, listen, I don't need your food. Just get me a pen and get me something to be able to write in prison all he was concerned oh this church i've not visited them for three months i'm sure some of these people uh, wolves in sheep clothing will be in this church now let me write something to admonish them if you came to paul in prison to say how are you feeling that was not what he wanted to hear how is this church doing the church in this the church in that and then at the end he said i have fought the good fight i have finished my course not our course hallelujah are we together yes so timing is really really very important very very important when you give birth to a child a young baby it would be unfair and even wicked of you to now begin to flog the child to say i'm talking to you and you're not responding back to me no you need to give that child time after five six years and you find out for instance that the child cannot walk cannot talk that now becomes a serious condition a serious condition is that true because you have allowed time there are certain things that should have happened in time already i'm praying for someone in the name of jesus whatever has eaten your years because i will tell you do you know what the locusts and the canker worms eat they don't eat things they eat years there are spirits whose assignment is not your money there are spirits whose assignment is not your influence there are spirits whose assignment is your years i will restore the years that the canker worm the caterpillar let me speak to someone you are here and you say apostle i even gave my life to jesus christ late sincerely i have lived all kinds of things and as it is right now it seems like time is gone thank god you came for this conference i decree and declare may the god who is the lord of time bring restoration to your life hallelujah please sit down when you understand the power of time you will now know why god brought in two spiritual mysteries pastor nat to be able to help men to maximize destiny number one is speed number two is restoration these mysteries directly deal with time when god grants a man speed why do you pray for speed why do you ask for speed hallelujah if i left abuja by road to come here you cannot say i'm stagnated because the car would still be moving but the problem is with respect to the time allotted i may not arrive to meet the activity are we together now so if i can outsource another agency that can help me remember my movement is with respect to time so someone for instance and respectfully so who left in the morning most likely has not arrived by now are we together now and then another person both of us are enjoying movement when you say who are those making progress all of us will stand but who are those who are experiencing speed you see 
speed is the ability to do much within time i'm saying all of this because when i connect it to our destiny and i connect it to this kairos seasons because i will be showing you prophetically that as individuals as the body of christ as a continent we are in our kairos moment how do you know you are in your kairos moment the answer is in genesis 1 14 he said he made light to signify time that means there is a revelation there is always a body of spiritual truth that helps you to know what season you are in he made light and he put those lights to signify seasons you can use light revelation to know what season you have stepped into there are many many people listen when a farmer right now this is november december in nigeria and we call it dry season it would be unwise for a farmer to go to the farm right now is that true and then start farming and not look for an alternative source of water why because you do not have an advantage of rain well maybe in lagos here i don't know how it works are we together now but generally speaking in nigeria we have what we call the dry and the rainy season a farmer does not need to worry about rain when it's a rainy season he just farms and he allows the advantage that comes with the season are we together now there's what we call irrigation irrigation means you try to simulate rainy season in dry season because you want the crops to grow but that the season does not give you that advantage you have to outsource through technology another route so many people have missed certain seasons i'll give you an instance there are people who god deliberately brought close to others within a particular season and they did not discern why they were there the man will keep asking them can i help you and say no no worry little did they know the man had only two years and he will relocate somewhere and he there were kairos moments maybe god granted you access to someone in government it was by god's god's grace and the man was benevolent god gave you unusual access to his ears his heart and his hands but because you could not discern seasons hallelujah yeah. jacob said the lord was in this place but i knew not do you know because jacob did not discern the season in genesis 28 you know his punishment for that 20 years jacob paid the price 20 years two wives and six extra years after 20 years jacob said i need to leave and in chapter 32 when god was coming to him again he said this time around he held him and said i will not let you go i am already this this long behind schedule unless you bless me i will not let you go if my time with you will be this night i will utilize the time and gain back 20 years i'm going to be showing you how to redeem time because there is a technology that has been given to the believers that when we engage it we are able to redeem and cover time hallelujah it is on the strength of these systems of advantage that the bible says for we know that all things all things can work together so don't say i gave my life to christ at 40 i mean the time i'm already halfway gone don't worry there is something you can do with god he designed a system in his economy where your one year can be what your 10 years would have been Do you believe this in the name of jesus christ how do you prepare for this defining moments these opportune seasons you prepare for kairos by maximizing chronos that means every day the passage of time is the raw material you use in preparing for these defining moments you do not waste every day and waste every time and expect to just stumble into opportune times let me give you an instance let's assume for instance that a young music minister is trusting god for visibility that god would announce the person it is not the day the opportunity comes that he prepares are we together the opportunity the time he's looking for is kairos but 
the his performance during the kairos moment will depend on what happens in chronos david prepared for the palace not in the palace david took advantage of his chronos are we together now he learned how to sling he killed the lion he killed the bear it is interesting that nobody was there to record and capture it however the justice system of god preserved that that he was still using his chronos properly one time i like how god announces men the bible says that the father told him listen go and feed your brothers and he only took food and heard a beast roaring and he said what is the meaning of this they said this man goliath of god six fingers six toes young man go back home immediately he said what shall be done what shall be done to the man who takes this guy down and they said all kinds of things and he said listen i'm able to do this said, listen don't bring shame on our family we are warriors and he said listen don't disrespect me for wanting to take advantage of my kairos let me defend my preparation i was in the wilderness I was in the wilderness when the lion came when the bear came i tore it and saul looked at him and said no there's something this man this is not he has prepared for the kairos moment and when he stood before goliath goliath said am i a dog israel this is what you are bringing and david said listen you come to me with your spheres and with your bows but i come to you in a name i maximize my moments of preparation I will bring you down and use your own sword take off your head and give it to the birds and with one sling that is mastery he didn't he didn't throw the bible does not give us information that he kept doing trial and error he had done that in the wilderness god is speaking to someone already listen waiting for the day god will announce you is the recipe for remaining a mediocre forever you prepare in prayer god has told you he's sending you to the nations the secret is not to start looking for opportunities sing my song invite me no that's not how it works where nobody sees you is your greatest stage the real stage is not where people see you is where you are alone and you are praying you are fasting you are preparing that is chronos be maximized are we together according to the law of times and seasons i guarantee you remember the bible says for everything there is a season that means your season is there john remained in the wilderness he was not wasting his time he was eating locusts and wild honey preparing himself finding out the sign to identify jesus the bible says until his season of appearing when that season came with precision when he saw jesus he said behold the lamb i have prepared seeing you i know you are the one i believe that you are blessed by this message by apostle jesus shama and i want to encourage you to find it to redeem or, or it is possible that that time can be redeemed by god if you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe to it for more remember god is the redeemer of time remain blessed